Hello, Blackstone Academy Juniors. Very excited today to show you just a quick run through of what all you need to include in your level three portfolio. So your advisor's probably already gone over this with you, but I thought, hey, why not do it on Zello also? So here's my sample level three portfolio. Uh, fair warning, it's just a very basic outline. A template, if you will. It's not really beautiful. It's not finished, um, but it'll give you some idea of what it is you're supposed to add and what order they might go in. Um, so here it is, level three. You're going to do your about me section, as always. You've got to do a little about me paragraph in which you discuss how you have changed since freshman year. We love a glow up. Uh, you're going to do some current pictures of yourself, please. And then you will also add your brag sheet, which you will do in your ELA class. If you watched the tutorial video where I showed you how to create a portfolio, then you know you can do that by clicking Add Media to Section and just pulling those things off of probably your Google Drive or wherever you save that kind of stuff. So then you have your advisory stuff. You're going to do your Habits of Mind reflection. That can go here. Your end of the year reflection, that little document can go here. Your resume, which you want to make sure is current with all the cool activities you did this year, which you will upload here. And then you have also your summer plans. So we're asking for two to four pictures that represent what you will do this summer, as well as four bullet points explaining something that you're going to do this summer and why you chose that thing. Going to update your ILP with all your junior classes and then you're going to upload that right here and then you have your external learning section it's a little different than last year so for career and college exploration for career exploration you're going to want to document 20 hours worth of career exploration and upload that little reflection here which your advisor will give you it's probably going to be a whole lot of zello activities then you're going to put your service learning reflection. You have to document that you did 20 hours of that. And then there's a reflection which your advisor will give you. You're going to put now, very exciting, your college long list. So that's just a long list of colleges that you might be interested in looking at. This year you have three college visits. So college visit number one, two, and college visit number three can be your reflection from the college fair that you went to. Um, or if you missed it, it can just be another college visit reflection. Okay, we're down to classes. So you've got some proficient work and end of courses that you have to put on. So you should have one from ELA 11, from whichever math class you're taking, whichever social studies you're taking, whichever science you're taking whatever language either spanish or portuguese can go right here um electives you might not have an elective if you have spanish or portuguese because that probably took up the block you would usually have electives in um, but you might also have art or pe and if you do that goes here also for your tuesday long block and your thursday long block whatever it is you want to show us of the work you did in those classes and hey look that's it that's the whole thing. Uh, probably seems like a lot. Really isn't that bad. Right? So if you get started and you work on it really throughout the year, a little bit here, a little bit there, you will definitely get this done on time. You will impress everyone and you will become a senior and it will be amazing. I wish all the best for you. Good luck.